Hi, I'm Tony Joe from Remax Camosun here in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia. Thanks very much for tuning in. This segment here will be talking about a membership poll that the Victoria Real Estate Board conducts year after year after year. The Victoria Real Estate Board is an association of about 1,300 realtors that practice real estate here in the capital region. What the Victoria Real Estate Board also does is it provides the multiple listing system. So you may be familiar with that as far as realtor.ca or other online resources. Some people actually are confused because they believe that realtor.ca is the actual MLS system and in reality it's not. The multiple listing system is a collection of data uh, that has been compiled over the years as far back as I believe 1990 and it accounts for things like when properties were sold, uh, what price they were sold, how many days on market, uh, features about the home and all these other things as well. The data the Victoria Real Estate Board collects also uh, is accessed by the Assessment Authority and also the Appraisal Institute. So whenever you have a property assessment or whenever a property is appraised, for instance for a bank uh, or for other purposes, they collect the data that the Real Estate Board uh, or they access the data that the Real Estate Board has collected all these years. So when you hire a real estate person, you're not just hiring them for marketing and to access, uh, to show your property and things like that, but you're also gaining access to the valuable information that is the MLS system. Anyways, every year the Victoria Real Estate Board compiles the information that has transpired for the previous 12 months uh, and it helps us determine certain things. And I'll go through them uh, with you right now. So uh, of the annual membership poll that came out uh, in January 2012 uh, for the year 2011, I'll tell you a few things. Uh, the first thing is where did buyers come from? So this is often a question. People seem to think that buyers are either coming from the prairies or they're coming from Asia, maybe from Europe. Of course, Victoria is a lifestyle and retirement uh, sort of town. Uh, but what it tells us is 65% came from the Greater Victoria area. So in other words, people have simply moved from one house to another within the area. So that already tells us off the bat that the majority of transactions occur from within Victoria. Uh, the next is from Up Island and from the Lower Mainland. That uh, is 14%. So that already brings us up to 79%. Again, Victoria, Up Island, and the Lower Mainland uh, is 79%. From there, the rest of Vancouver, or sorry, the rest of uh, Vancouver Island and the Lower Mainland is another 3.5%. Those from outside BC but still in Canada are 14%. So that would be your prairie folk. We get a lot of people move over uh, from back east. Of course, there's a lot of relocations for both business and also government and military. Uh, and this is a figure that I think most people think is, is a higher figure than what it really is. Again, it's 14%. And finally, from outside of Canada, so that's from the United States, from Europe, from all the other points of the world, only 3%. So again, uh, as far as uh, buyer origins there, the majority of buyers come from Victoria, first and foremost, as I said, 65%, uh, followed by Up Island, Lower Mainland, and other areas in BC. So information like that, the Real Estate Board collects. Uh, some other things that you might find interesting, there's a breakdown of um, a male and female. 12% um, were single males, 14% uh, were single females. We have a breakdown of couples. Uh, retireds uh, comprise 17.8%, so it's not a really large number. Um, this is interesting. Where did buyers learn about the property? So remember, we are asking buyers where, where we're asking buyers questions that this uh, market poll provides. Where did they find the property? I'm gonna post this actually on my website later as well too, so you can access the PDF. Um, but 30, or sorry, 72% came upon the property either by their realtor or their realtor's automated listing system. So that's 72% came through the hands of people like myself and uh, 1,300 other people uh, in town who are realtors. Realtor.ca, which is the website that I mentioned just a few moments ago, uh, caused 12% uh, of people, to f uh, the, the origin of 12% of people's first searches. Following that, uh, we have 1% uh, other websites. 5% came from real estate signs, and this is common because people drive by, of course. Relatives or friends told 2% of buyers uh, who eventually end up buying. The things that I found interesting are print, things like newspaper, uh, brochures, uh, magazines, things like that, were only 0.94%, 0.94%, and 
and classified ads were 0.39%. So it's very interesting. It is telling us that the real estate industry is doing its job and uh, generating 72% uh, of where buyers found the property, followed by a realtor.ca website. And all the other things that we used to use to market properties are far less effective today, including print. Uh, anyways, again, if you'd like more information about this particular survey from the Victoria Real Estate Board or any other information or details, please feel free to look me up, give me a call, uh, or send me an email. My name is Tony Joe. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to watch some of our other YouTube videos as well.